This is Holly Thrasher, agronomist with Farmers Business Network. So today I want to talk to you a little bit about some pre-emerge burned down herbicide options for those of you who may be planning on planting grain sorghum this spring. Now whether or not grain sorghum was your original planned crop or you've made the decision to switch to um, grain sorghum because of commodity prices, delays in planting, etc., um, you do have a number of herbicide options that can give you some effective control. So there's not a, uh, a broad brush stroke that I can give you a herbicide plan that will 100% be the right choice for your farm. There are a number of factors that will play into the right herbicide um, program for your farm. And those are gonna be things like your organic matter, your pH and what your soil type is. However, um, a, a very uh, common herbicide program for a no-till situation um, looking at a burn down and a residual um, a herbicide program for emerged weeds that may include things like mare's tail, um, some kochia, mustard, grasses, would be a herbicide mix of um, atrazine and at about a quart an acre. Um, you could apply 2,4-D ester at 16 ounces or you could use dicamba um, at 8 ounces an acre and then add some glyphosate in there, 32 ounces an acre. And then of course you would wanna use your non-ionic surfactant and an AMS in there as well. That's gonna give you three modes of action. That is one herbicide option for a burn down residual um, in grain sorghum. Another option would be something like uh, you could use your 2,4-D ester or dicamba. You could add your glyphosate in there. And you could also add a three-way mix, something like uh, FBN's product, which is Stalwart 3W, and that's gonna be similar to what a Lumax or a Lexar is, and that's a, a combination premix herbicide that includes atrazine, s metulachlor and mesotrium. Then of course you would wanna use your non-ionic surfactant and AMS in that, uh, in that herbicide mixture as well. And that's gonna give you uh, five modes of action. Um, so that'll give you a very effective control of weeds. If you happen to be in a conventional clean till um, uh, situation where you're planting into a clean seed bed, you would drop the dicamba, 240, and glyphosate as well as the adjuvants in, uh, in that program. When you apply these herbicides, you would need to um, wait seven to 10 days before you plant. Um, if you don't have the time, to, uh, to wait to plant, you could always use a Paraquat type product. That would be your, your Gramoxone. So these are a couple of different herbicide options. However, there are some premixes that are always put together. You know, I, I mentioned the Stalwart 3W. Um, the, some of the other products would be Lexar and Lumax. That's a three-way mix of atrazine, mesotrione, and s metulachlor um, Some other premixes that could be used as a pre- Emerge uh, type herbicide would be uh, Bicep 2, Brawl 2, Cinch, uh, Charger Max. Those are going to combine your atrazine and s metulachlor Degree ex Extra is another option and that would be your atrazine plus acetochlor. Remember each of these herbicide programs again is going to be very dependent on your organic matter pH soil type and you would also want to take into consideration what uh, your crop rotation is. So if you have any questions about putting together a herbicide program for your farm, um, you can always reach out to your FBN rep or your local FBN hub. They can put you in contact with the, with the agronomy team. They can help you look at some different price options for your farm and we're, we're always here to help you however we possibly can. Thanks and happy planting!